Hello everyone. Early Vedic period and later Vedic period. Early Vedic period, 1500-2100 BCE. The Early Vedic period, also known as the Rig Vedic period, is a significant era in the history of India. It marks the time when the Vedic literature, including the Vedas, was composed in the northern Indian subcontinent. This period is characterized by the end of the urban industrialized civilization and the beginning of a second urbanization in the central Indo-Gangetic plain around 600 BCE. The Vedas, which are liturgical texts, formed the basis of the influential Brahmanical ideology which developed in the Kuru kingdom, a tribal union of several Indo-Aryan tribes. The Vedas contain details of life during this period that have been interpreted to be a historical and constitute the primary sources for understanding the period. The Vedic society was patriarchal and patrilineal. Early Indo-Aryans were a late Bronze Age society centered in Punjab, organized into tribes rather than kingdoms, and primarily sustained by a pastoral way of life. Around 1200-1000 BCE, the Aryan cultures spread eastward to the fertile western Ganges plain. Later Vedic period, 1200-500 BCE. The later Vedic period followed the early Vedic period, estimated to be around 1000 BCE to 600 BCE. During this phase, the Vedic traditions continued to develop and new elements were incorporated into the society and culture. The Aryans further moved towards the east in the later Vedic period. The Satapatha Brahmana refers to the expansion of Aryans to the eastern Gangetic plains. One important development during this period is the growth of large kingdoms. Kuru and Panchala kingdoms flourished in the beginning. The later Vedic texts also refer to the three divisions of India, Aryavarta, Northern India, Madhya Desha, Central India, Dakshinapada, Southern India. The second half of the Vedic period was categorized by the emergence of towns, kingdoms and a complex social differentiation distinctive to India and the Kuru kingdom's codification of orthodox sacrificial ritual. During this time, the central Ganges plain was dominated by a related but not Vedic Indo-Aryan culture of Greater Magadha. The end of the Vedic period witnessed the rise of true cities and large states called Mahajanapadas as well as Sramana movements including Jainism and Buddhism which challenged the Vedic orthodoxy. The Vedic period saw the emergence of a hierarchy of social classes that would remain influential. Vedic religion developed into Brahmanical orthodoxy and around the beginning of the common era, the Vedic tradition formed one of the main constitutions of Hindu synthesis. Thank you. Bye.